And now we need to have a data set. So a data set is where you're going to be writing queries to uh, you know, pull in data. So under data sets, if I right click, you have the option to add a data set. And it's going to ask for a name for the data sets. So in this one, you know, I normally like to name the data sets after you know, what kind of data I'm pulling back or what I'm looking at. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to call this sales by state. I'll just name it after the report. This is going to be kind of a small report, so not a whole lot of data sets going on here. And now for 2008 R2 and 2012, so for R2 and 2012 users, you're going to have that option to use a shared data set. Uh, but again, I'm not going to go with that. Uh, we, you know, we don't, don't need that. Uh, so I'm going to use a data set embedded in the report. So this is where I'm creating a data set that will only be visible for this report and listed over here in the report data section. Uh, so I've selected it you know, to, to use a, a, an embedded data set. And we have to choose the data source. So what data source are we going to be pulling our information from? And of course, I only added one data source. So I'll just select that from the dropdown. It's my only option anyway. And then you have query type. So in this case, you're going to see the options of text, which is default, and stored procedure. Using a storage procedure can be pretty cool. It's, um, I guess you could say it's similar to a shared data set in a way, uh, but it's not just something that you have right there in your solution, for example. Um, this would be a stored procedure that's actually existing in the, the database, so wherever your data source is connecting. So I'm going to use text. Below that, you can type out your query in the query window if you really want to. Um, I, however, prefer to use the query designer. So I'll just open that up and let me full screen this for you. So the query designer, uh, it makes putting together queries a lot easier. Um, you know, if you're not wanting to sit around and type out a lot of long queries or maybe you're rusty on your T-SQL. Uh, whatever the case may be, you don't want to have to type all that stuff out. So the query designer will, will just allow you to put things together you know, much easier than having to manually create these queries. Now in the query designer, you're going to have a few different sections. Uh, first we have this top section where you actually uh, add tables. Um, so I mean, I could just right click and choose add table. And here I have a whole list of all those tables in my data source. And I can just choose whatever table that I want to add. Uh, you also have views and functions as well. So if you have any, you can add those. Um, below that, you're going to have a small section that will keep track of all the different columns that you're selecting from these tables. It will also make it easier to alias uh, some of these columns, uh, also add some sorting and filtering as well. And below that is a section that will actually show the entire query. So whatever query you piece together, it's going to show up here, and you can also manually edit it from, from right here. And then down below, we'll be able to test that query. So this will show the results of any query that we're testing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, add some tables. Uh, oh, you can also turn all of it. You can see if you don't want to see some of these, you can hide some of these just by, um, you know, just by clicking these icons up here all the way at the top. So I just got rid of our results pane. I can bring that back. All right. So I'm just going to go and throw together a query. And since we're working with the AdventureWorks database, of course, we're going to be looking at sales data. So if I right click and choose Add Table. So there's a few tables that I want to add here. Uh, let's see if I can remember which tables we have. Um, let's see, there's the fact Back to reseller sales, that's what I'm going to start with, so I'll throw that out there. Because what I want to look at is you know, how much money uh, these different stores have been bringing in uh, in different cities and different states. So we're going to throw that out there, the fact reseller sales. Uh, I also want to know the, see, the names of the different uh, stores. So we have dim reseller. So I'll double click that one, throws that out there for me. And I also want to know where these are located. So we have a dim geography table. All right. Now you'll also notice that, and I'll close this little window out for just a second here. 
you'll notice that all these tables have this connection between all three of them. So there's a foreign key in each one of these tables that uh, you, know, you can use to join to the other tables, which is exactly what you want. Uh, you can also change what kind of join, because you see if you mouse over, you just hover the mouse over that little diamond in the middle, it'll tell you it's an inner join. It tells you what is it, you know, what the key is that you can use for the join. It also bolts them for you right here. We have foreign keys, for, for, for example. Now you can change the type of lookup that is by clicking on it. All right, it's supposed to bring up a little, another little interface here. It's not going to do that for me. So if you right click, you can change the type of join it is by selecting all rows from one or the other. And it just did that. Let me just uncheck those. Didn't mean to do that. All right. Now you will also encounter some cases if you're putting together some some pretty big reports where you're having to pull data in from all kinds of different tables. You may encounter something that doesn't have a connection, like this one here. I just do a dim organization. Not going to use it, but you can see that there's no connection in this case. So one of the the, the tricky things you're going to find is trying to find, say, if I needed this table for some reason, I would also have to find some other table that I can use to join that data, something that would join it to one of these other tables. I may not be pulling any data from whatever other table I bring in, but I'd have to use it, I have to bring it in there so I can join all that data. So I don't need that, so I'm just going to remove it. So our query is going to be kind of simple. We're only looking at three different tables. But now we have to choose what columns we want to pull back uh, from, these, you know, from these different tables. Now for the fact reseller sales, I want the sales amount, because I want to know how much money we've made, the total sales amount we've made from these different places. So I'll choose sales amount. And then for dim reseller, I want to know the reseller name. So I think we actually have, I probably passed it, because I always do that. Let's see, we have the oh, reseller name. Here it is. So reseller name. I think that's all we need from that one. And then for dim geography, I want to get the city and also the state. <clears throat> now, with the AdventureWorks databases, you have to be careful because there's uh, two different types of states here. There's a state province code and a state province name. 